a billionaire and today we're going to talk about what he's doing with his, with his billions. He is building bunkers! OMG! Guys, Bill Gates is building bunkers! Vivos is a company that is dedicated exclusively to making underground bunkers for the wealthy. So it comes as almost no surprise that they would be the creators behind the most expensive underground bunker of all time. Something that hits the world, 
it will wipe out all humanity and Bill Gates is prepared for this. Like check out these articles guys. So here's the first article. Bill Gates fears plagues that could wipe out humanity. And then here's another one. Bill Gates and America millionaires are building underground survival bunkers. The future is going to be rough. Wow, guys, check this out. Here's another one. How scared should I be of a contagious disease wiping out humanity? Wow. And here's another one. Um, it says the end of the world, apocalypse, apocalypse now. Billionaires are preparing for the apocalypse. Do they know something? Do you know really something that we don't know? And here's another one. Bill Gates thinks a coming disease could kill more than 30 million people within six months. And um, and says we should be prepared for it as we do war. And guys, this is an article from 2018. April 22nd, 2018. This was an article from two years ago. Okay, here's one. This is really like creepy. It says Bill Gates builds nuclear bunker, tells staff to leave the country. Okay, let's read this article. It says Bill Gates urgently ordered ordered the construction of a nuclear bunker in his Seattle property, has advised a long-term employee to leave the United States before the following weekend, says a member staff. And he says, um, he didn't say how long we should go away, but he says we should definitely leave before the following weekend, says Mr. Hall, a pool technician who says he watched the construction of the nuclear bunker and explains it's large enough to comfortably hold a handful of people only. Besides the nuclear bum bunker, several smaller tunnels and bunkers were built underneath the main residence, connecting them all up together in form of little small underground fortress. Oh my gosh. So explaining that the bunker has entrance and exits large enough for vehicles as well as escape tunnels, decontaminating rooms, Swiss made air purifiers, bulletproof hatches. Bill Gates apparently approved the final construction only after being repeatedly assured he and two others would survive in the underground structure in the event of a 500,000 pound blast. So these people are thinking those bunkers are going to save them. These are the life policies. A bunker is a life policies. And what does billionaires doing with their money? Yes, they are putting it into bunkers. If Bill Gates is worried about a plague two years ago, should you be worried too? Hell yes, you should be worried. Is this realistic? Yes, absolutely. A bio attack is totally realistic in our days. Look what happened with coronavirus. All of a sudden, boom, within like just like a couple of days, boom, pandemic, boom, shutdown, boom, lockdown. So you should be really prepared for everything like these millionaires or billionaires. So it's not the question if you're gonna need it, it's the water question when you're gonna need it. Doesn't this prove what Bill Gates is all about? Like he is build, building bunkers, he's saving his ass, he knows what's going on, he is totally prepared for the apocalypse, for the apocalypse. Wake up guys, this is not a coincidence, no, 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 this is all planned, this is all designed, destined from those rich billionaires, globalists to uh, to wipe out humanity, only that they are left in the country and then they want to build a new society, a new, uh, a new society, a new world order. Bill Gates is member of the new world order. He is getting invited to all these like secret parties, secret societies, Illuminati stuff, like really, really evil, joining together with evil, evil people. He joined together his forces with really evil, evil people. So he is not innocent. You think, oh, he just wanna save humanity. He just wants to help. No, Bill Gates doesn't want to help. <laughs> Bill Gates wants to destroy. He wants to destroy everything we know as we know of. So this is just proof 10 months ago, he's already talking about plagues. He's talking about vaccines. He's talking about bunkers. He knows exactly what's going on. Watch this video. Fortunately, there's very few things and most of them are very low probability. Uh, you know, some big volcanic explosion, uh, gigantic earthquake, asteroid. Well, at least in the nuclear case, 
you've got to say we take it quite seriously. We budget a lot of money, have a lot of people who think about nuclear deterrence. And I'm very glad that work's been done, and I rate the chance of a nuclear war in my lifetime as being fairly low. Uh, I rate the chance of a widespread epidemic far worse than Ebola in my lifetime is well over 50%. Basically, when you talk about drugs, you can talk about small molecules or talk about these complex biological protein-like things, of which there's a subclass called antibodies. Antibodies are the molecules that the immune system naturally builds to attack disease. Today, the idea that somebody says, oh, here's an antibody, make a lot of it, make it very quickly, that's right on the cutting edge. And the Ebola epidemic showed me that we're not ready for a serious epidemic. An epidemic that would be more infectious and would spread faster than Ebola did. This is the greatest risk of a huge tragedy. This is the most likely thing by far to kill over 10 million excess people in a year. We don't need to invest nearly what we do in military preparedness. This is something where less than a billion a year on R&D, medical surveillance, uh, standby personnel, cross-training the military so they can play a role in terms of all the logistics here. This can be done, and we may not get many more warnings like this one to, to say, okay, it's a pretty modest investment to avoid something that really, in terms of the, the human condition, would be a, a gigantic. Doesn't this prove that Bill Gates is like in the inside? We all, the American people, we are all in the outside. We don't know what's happening or the whole world. We are just like average American people who don't know what's happening. Bill Gates is in the inside. He knows what's happening. You know what's even funny? Before the coronavirus hit, you know what happened? All these billionaires, all these CEOs just like stepped down from their position left their post at a record pace last month. A new report from executive outplacement firm Challenger Gray and Christmas says that 172 chief executives moved on during the month of October. Joining us right now to talk about whether this is part of a larger trend is Maggie Wilderotter. Is Thank it, you. Uh, is there something new afoot or is this a one-off to see this number of chief executives leaving? You know, I think 40% of, of that number uh, have left for some kind of controversy mm -hmm. in their position. So I think that is new. We do have big news on Microsoft today announcing that co-founder Bill Gates is going to be stepping down from the company's board of directors um, to focus more really on his uh, philanthropic pursuits. We know he is passionate about areas um, like global health, education, climate change. Uh, he will continue to serve, though, as technology advisor to CEO Satya Nadella. You'll recall um, in the summer of 2008, he had really transitioned uh, out of day-to-day -day role in the company to spend more time um, with the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. He, were, he had served as Microsoft's chairman um, to the board until February 4th, 2014. In a statement here, CEO Satya Nadella says Microsoft will continue to benefit from Bill's ongoing technical passion and advice to drive the company's products and services. It is not the only news from Bill Gates today, though, Brian. He is also stepping down uh, from Berkshire's board as well. And we've learned that Ken Chenault will be leaving Facebook's board to replace him there. Guys, back to you. Oh, big news there. Josh Lippin in San Francisco. Josh, thank you very much. Uh, Mike, obviously, Bill Gates has not been the CEO of Microsoft for a long, long time. Steve Ballmer was there. Satya Nadella has done a great job. Does this change anybody's view, BK, no. on how they should look no. at Microsoft? I would say it this way. You don't sell Microsoft because Bill Gates is stepping down from the board. They have a fantastic management team there. Obviously, it's taken a hit this week with the entire market. But I don't think this is a structural change. People knew ultimately Bill Gates is going to kind of slowly back away from that. So, you know, if I'm looking at Microsoft today, if there's any weakness on this news, which it doesn't really appear that there is, but I would not sell Microsoft on this news. It may change for the foreseeable future. I mean, not only here, right. but, you know, the Chinese economy might change because of this in terms of, you know, the way they work to maybe the different things. You know, maybe those, you know, it's interesting. We had a conversation with Karen and Tim pointed this out. There's been relative strength in a lot of these Chinese internet stocks. It doesn't make a lot of sense until you start to think about it. So maybe they're ahead of that curve and maybe that's a place you should be looking as well. And they knew exactly that something has gone to hit. And they all miraculously, all at once, like two weeks or so before the coronavirus hit, before uh, who declared a pandemic, they all stepped down from their CEO position. Is this a coincidence? 
No, no coincidence. This is all planned. They know something that we didn't know. They unleash coronavirus on us. They unleash 5G on us. And I think now, okay, now the society is going to get back open up. Thank you, Trump. Like, people, if you still hate Trump, stop, please. He is good. Without Trump, America has been already down in the gutter. Like, seriously. Um, Trump really saved America and he saved the world and that's the reason why the globalists hates him they want to get him out and they're smearing his name back and forth since the day he was elected since the day he came in office and now I'm telling you new things are gonna happen to Trump they're gonna try to get him out again and try to indict him and try to like do other stuff and impeach him um, now that he wants to open back up the economy like things are really really crazy those globalist people they are not nice people they are very evil people it's the secret society it's a new world order it's all these rich rich people on the top of the food chain who are deciding like where life and society and the world is gonna go because they have billions and billions and billions of dollars vivos is a company that is dedicated exclusively to making underground bunkers for the wealthy so it comes as almost no surprise that they would be the creators behind the most expensive underground bunker of all time which is expected to sell for at least a billion dollars. Europa One, much like the other bunkers on our list, is an extensive complex with multiple apartments and communal areas. There is over 220,000 square feet of living space and an additional 43,906 square feet of warehouses and offices above ground. The area above the facility also has a train depot for delivering supplies and people to the bunker in case of emergency. There are three tunnels to enter the facility, each of which is protected by three doors which ensure the lock is airtight, radiation proof, biological warfare proof, and blast proof. There's even gates and guard towers surrounding the above ground facilities. Europa One has everything on lockdown, and that includes their plan for the moment the apocalypse begins. Members will land their private jets or helicopters, and then they will be whisked inside the facility to their private quarters. Protective suits will be provided in the case of biological or radioactive threats, and the upper level of the facility is outfitted with several vehicles, as well as hunting, fishing, and gardening equipment. Each family is given a fully furnished apartment that is something out of a futuristic magazine. The entire walls of the bedroom are LED screens, and all the furniture is as luxurious as it comes. But it is the common areas where the Europa One truly shines. There are roadways, bakeries, restaurants, English pubs, chapels, computer rooms, classrooms, hair salons, pet kennels, hydroponic gardens, a hospital, and even its own television and radio station. <laughs> In truth, it is much more like an underground city than a simple complex. There's also a full pool, a spa, and a movie theater with a starry sky. Though living in a bunker isn't all fun and games, there are some rather serious things that need to be addressed in the creation of the bunker. Europa One will also serve as a museum for zoological species, DNA samples, precious artifacts, and a hall of records meant to survive any catastrophe. As far as doomsday prepping goes, I'd say Europa One is a fairly safe bet. So, there you have it. The most expensive underground bunkers in the world. And also multi, multi, multi millionaires. They are all building bunkers. All billionaires, all multi millionaires have bunkers in their houses. Like built in, airtight and purified and bulletproof bunkers that nothing can go in or out unless they open the door. And they the only thing that can go in and out is their own asses because they are gonna just save themselves. Sorry for my language, guys. My channel is not made for kids. I said this, not made for kids. Um, so please watch your child um, if they're watching this channel to not watch it because like this is what I set my audience to be. Okay, guys, another thing what's going on is that as you can see, Bill Gates knows something that we don't know. So I just think like this is all man-made. This is all happening because he wants it happening. And he's now popping up all over the place, talking about vaccines, talking about the mark of the beast, talking about um, 
the ID 2020 talking about travel uh, certificate to get like vaccinated and you know what the scary part is Europe is already implementing that idea and that is really really scary Europe is implementing the idea of forced vaccines in Denmark people are already getting like chips in their hand like implants I mean I don't want to be like a animal and get a microchip that's why I don't microchip my animals my pets no I don't like that it's evil it's a triple six sign if you get the microchip in you in your hand the Bible says it will be on your forehead or on your right hand and nobody can buy and nobody can like spend money and nobody can unless you have this chip everything will be digital and cashless next right and then left turn all right share this video with so many people as possible let them know what's going on don't be in the dark if you like this video like and comment and subscribe and let me know what you think I love you and I'll see you next time Mwah.